So, Dax, uh, how did you feel that uh, – or what, what was the drill that you felt you best uh, showcased your, your talents and best performance at? Man? Um, let's see. I wanted to really show out on the uh, agility drills. And I, I did have good times, but I wanted a little bit better. Um, I think I got – my 40 was just about what everyone thought I would run, and, and I'm proud of that. Um, and overall, it was, it was a pretty good day for me. Dax, just when you're out there running those routes and Zach's throwing the balls and you're doing those things, talk about the pressure that you feel at each moment to, to be at your best. Um, I mean, it's a fun time, but it's just so different because it was so quiet in here. Um, you know, usually when we're performing like that, you know, we got fans or, or teammates cheering us on and whatnot. But um, it's definitely uh, a good opportunity to show that you can handle the pressure like that and, and uh, execute. Uh, Dana Green and then Sam Farnsworth. Hey, Dax, uh, speaking of pressure, I mean, you're, you're best friends with Zach. You've known him for years. How have you seen him handle this? Um, and how have you kind of helped them deal with all this tension that, that he's been getting? It, it, has he changed since uh, maybe the beginning of last year? Um, I haven't seen a lot of change from the beginning of last year, but I've seen a lot of change from the beginning of his collegiate career. Um, you know, he does this stuff uh, day in and day out, and and uh, I think he knows that. He, he knows that he's prepared, and and I can tell he's having fun out there. This is what he loves to do. This is what we all love to do. Um, and so I think he's done a great job of handling, you know, all the hype. Hey, Dax, um, what feedback, if any, do you do you get right after uh, this pro day? Have, did you have you, any instant feedback, I guess, from the scouts uh, from today? Uh, no instant feedback yet. Um, they're all just kind of busy talking about what, what kind of times they, they record and everything. So, But I'm sure I'll be hearing from them uh, shortly. Uh, let's go to Alex Fleming from the Florida Sun and then Gonzalo Fabri from No Huddle. Zach, how you doing? Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. Doing good, thank you. Um, two questions. It's a wide receiver deep draft this year. It really is. So how do you plan on separating yourself from the rest of the pack? And question number two, would you mind being a third or fourth round selection if it means you get to play with Zach Wilson in San Francisco? Okay, so yeah, to answer your first question, I think what will set me apart um, coming into any team in the league is, is my ability to pick up the playbook and um, you know, be a fast learner. Uh, I did a good job with that, you know, coming into to BYU. And um, another physical thing that I think will set me apart is just my ability to, you know, get separation and, and finish the play. Um, you know, having reliability and, and good hands. Um, I think that's what it's all about as a receiver in the league. And um, and to answer your second question, I think I'd, I'd take, you know, any opportunity uh, to play with Zach again. That'd be. That'd be really fun, and I think the fans would love that too. Just seeing us connect again, um, and uh, yeah. Has San Fran reached out to you? Uh, yes, they have. Uh, let's go to Matthias and then Stephen Hagland. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Uh, yep. Next. Yep, I got you. Uh, here is Matheus Arnelas from Time Out on Brazil. Uh, congratulations for going for the, the NFL draft. Thank you. Uh, you have a, you have a, like a, a really good 2020 that, that maybe a lot of guys that are not looking to you put an eye on you after the season that you have. How do you think that like having the season that you have can help in this deep class of receivers? And maybe having one of the top quarterbacks on the draft kind of put uh, maybe one or two cameras more on the BYU games. Um, yeah, I think just with the amount of games that we were able to play this past season, given the circumstances, um, you know, it's a great opportunity for me and, and anyone um, on our team. Just because coaches, I mean, scouts and coaches have a lot of great film on us. Um, I know that's what is a good thing going for me. Um, it allowed me this last year just allowed me to showcase what I can really do um, when I have the the opportunities I went out and seized whatever was given to me so yeah thank you hey 
Hey, Jack, Stephen Hagelin here covering the Chargers and the Rams in Los Angeles. Uh, have you had the chance to meet with either of those teams in this process so far? Yes, I have. Both teams? Uh, just the Chargers. Uh, and you mentioned your ability to pick up a playbook uh, and things like that, but what else do you think you bring to the table in terms of on the field uh, and how you can separate from the rest of the pack? Um, yeah, what I've been telling uh, scouts when they ask about me is, is first just my pure competitiveness and my w will to win. Um, you know, I've always told people that I just hate I hate losing more than I love winning, and I think that really drives me uh, to be a great competitor, and um, ultimately sets me apart. You know, with my mindset like that, um, and then uh, physically, just the way I run routes, um, I take pride in in uh, running crisp routes that you know a lot of people strive to strive to uh, emulate me. Um, and then, like I mentioned before, uh, my, my great hands, I feel like my ball skills really set me apart and I can uh, you know, compete with anyone in the league in that way. Awesome, man. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Um, Gonzalo, I, I apologize. I think we uh, went past you. But if you want to ask the last question, uh, I apologize. We won't be able to get to everyone. But um, we're going to wrap up here. Uh, last question for Dex. Yeah, thank you. My name is I'm Gonzalo Pabri from Bruja in Argentina. And I want to ask you, which uh, skills do you think do you uh, develop the most uh, through your your college career? Which which key skills uh, do you think you work and done uh, the most? Um, yeah, so I think coming into my collegiate career, um, you know, I have some, I had some raw, raw ability, but the things that I really wanted to work on most throughout my career was, um, you know, having a efficient footwork. Um, I had a lot of wasted movement coming in, and you know that equals, you know, slower, slower speed or, or not getting as much separation in routes. So um, cleaning up footwork and and using my hands um, against defenders was was a big thing for me. Thanks for your time, Dax. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys.